morning, Keisha. It's good to see you today. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. How are you feeling? Well, Dr. Perez, my name is Debbie, and I'm Keisha's new caregiver, and she seems to have an infection again. Thank you, Debbie. I appreciate you sharing that, but I'd like to hear from Keisha first. Your tests show you have another urinary tract infection. Let's see if we can figure out why this keeps happening. It's all right, Keisha. You can talk to me. I'm ready to listen. I don't feel good. It hurts. Is something happening I should know about? I don't know. I've noticed that you have a large bruise on your arm. That must hurt. It really does. Keisha, I'd like to speak to you alone for a few minutes. Would that be okay? You can go to the waiting room, Debbie. The nurse will call you back shortly. Joan, would you come in for a moment? Now, let's take a look at that bruise. Tell me how you got it. I'm not sure. You remember, Joan. I've asked her to join us. Is that okay? Hi, Keisha. Nice to see you. Hi, Joan. You know, Keisha, People with developmental disabilities get hurt more often than other people, and it's not their fault. They're often forced to have unwanted sex. I need to ask you about that now, even though I know it's hard to talk about. I know. I think it happened to my friend. I'm sorry to hear about your friend. I hope she's getting some help. I'm worried about why you've had so many infections and how you got this bruise. Would it be easier to use a chart like this to tell me what happened? I think so. Point to any pictures that shows where you were hurt. Someone made me have sex, but I didn't want to. When someone forces you to have sex, that's never okay. That's called rape. That's what's been happening to me. I hated it. But I'm not supposed to talk about it. I'm afraid. You're being very brave. You always have the right to say no to any unwanted sex. But I don't think anybody would believe me. I believe you, Keisha. You can report the abuse to your social worker and to the police. In our community, there are crisis intervention services that help women who have been sexually abused. And here's a card with a number on it you can call for help. Thank you, Joan. You're welcome. Before we finish, I want to make sure you understand what we talked about. What do you remember? Rape is never okay, and it's not my fault. There are people who want to help me. That's right. Joan, please ask Debbie to come back in, and let's make a follow-up appointment in two weeks. Thank you.